Two weeks ago, I made a game theory video arguing that Kafir might be planning to make a lasting Earth 2, but two things happened recently that have now convinced me that I was wrong. The first thing that convinced me that I might be wrong on my theory that Kafir was making a second version of their game was actually you guys. I was reading through your comments and you guys made some really interesting arguments that because Last Day on Earth is a mobile game that I should think about it differently than a lot of the games you pay for. The main difference is that in a mobile game, each update can bring in new revenue to an already engaged player base. So since creating a second game would require those players to download a new game, it's actually less likely to produce the same amount of money because it would require gathering and engaging a new audience, which is extremely hard to do. So that was a great argument, but it still didn't explain why Last Day on Earth might be holding back on some of the content that they have already made but haven't released yet in the game. And then this week, Kafir made some amazing new changes to Frostborn, including fixing the rating system, and then announced that they will be releasing it globally and on iOS soon, which reminded me of my previous theories that I think Kafir has been waiting and holding back Last Day on Earth until they can perfect the concept. Guys, if you have not seen my recent video about Frostborn, Kafir did it. They did it. After a lot of trial and error, they finally found a way to create a multiplayer rating system that works for beginners and pros, casual gamers and hardcore gamers. They did it. I couldn't believe it. They found a way to make it work and they still stayed true to the original feel of the game. So they're going to release that soon. And I think that it is going to blow people away because there has never been a game like it. When they released Last Day on Earth, it was just a shadow of what Frostborn is today and it exploded. So so I hope that Frostborn is going to explode in a similar way. Now some of you are probably getting a little concerned right now. You thought this video was going to give you good news that there wasn't going to be a Last Day on Earth 2, but now you're worried that I'm saying that Frostborn is going to replace Last Day on Earth. That is not at all what I'm trying to say. Kafir has mentioned many times that they are not going to give up on Last Day on Earth and that they will continue to grow it. And it would be stupid if they didn't, right? They have a huge following in Last Day on Earth. And Last Day on Earth has developed its own really cool feel, now being able to switch back and forth between single player and multiplayer. So don't worry about Last Day on Earth ever going away. But what I think is going to happen is they're going to wait and see how the world reacts to Frostborn. And then as it grows, they will start releasing all of the hidden content that they have saved for Last Day on Earth so that the two games grow side by side. So if I'm right, then Frostborn being released is actually something that all Last Day on Earth fans should be excited about because it means that Kafir is making progress in their master plan. So all of that to say that you you guys are right that it doesn't make sense to make a Last Day on Earth 2 and Frostborn's global release reminded me that there is another explanation for Last Day on Earth holding back some of that content and not revealing it yet. Well that's it guys, hope that helps. Even though Frostborn is coming out, I'm still going to be covering Last Day on Earth. In fact, I already have several tutorials made for you guys like some new Bunker Alpha tutorials. But I am going to be covering Frostborn at least as much as Last Day on Earth because it has true multiplayer and that is what what I was initially attracted to about Last Day on Earth in the first place. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.